Out of all of the videos that I've been uploading onto my channel recently, the ones that have been performing the best are the ones that talk about wholesale. But it's not just my channel. There's a lot more wholesale content that's being uploaded to YouTube, and that's because it's becoming a lot more of a popular topic and a lot more of a popular business model. As I upload more content around wholesale, I tend to get a lot of questions from people who are looking to start or people who are just looking for help in specific areas. And one of the questions that I usually get is a problem that I faced when first starting out. And that is, should you work with wholesale suppliers that sell generic products or should you work with wholesale suppliers that sell brand name products? To break it down, there are really two main types of wholesale suppliers. You could work with companies that sell brand name products. These are companies, wholesale companies, distributors, or suppliers that are going to sell products from Hasbro, Apple, Nike, Samsung, products like those. Generic suppliers is a broad term that encompasses many different types of suppliers, but mainly you're looking at small companies that have brands, but they're smaller brands and people don't actually recognize them, or they are just suppliers that sell brand name products. They're just manufacturers that make items for orders that they get. And these are the two different types of suppliers that you have to work with when starting out a wholesale business. Now I've worked with both generic suppliers and I've also worked with brand name wholesale suppliers. So in this video, I'm going to break them each down and I'm going to help you decide which one is best for your business. First, let's take a look at a website from a wholesale supplier who sells brand name products. This is a typical wholesale site offering brand name items like Hasbro, Monopoly, and Pokemon. These are all brand name items, meaning that they are items made by a well-known manufacturer. All of these companies like Hasbro, Nike, and Apple spend a lot of money, like billions of dollars, to make sure that their items are well recognized, to make sure that people know about their items, and to make sure that people are going to buy their products. Most of these companies do sell directly to the public. You could go on nike.com or apple.com and you could purchase directly from the manufacturer. These companies also do sell to some retailers like Target, Walmart, Costco, other big retailers like that. But they don't sell directly to small companies or small retailers who want to sell their products. People like you and me, we couldn't go directly to Nike to sell their products. That is where these wholesale companies and these distributors come into play. Instead of selling their products directly to small retailers, what these companies will do is they'll go through a middleman and they'll sell their products to wholesale companies, to distributors, who then we have to go and apply to them and we have to go and purchase through the wholesale companies, not directly from the manufacturer. So now that we've gone over a name brand supplier, let's go ahead and look at a website from a generic supplier to get an idea of what that's like. So here's a website from a generic supplier or a small company. And as you'll see, the selection is not as big as the one from the name brand supplier. And the reason for that is because most wholesale suppliers and distributors who work with name brand companies typically work with a lot of companies. So they will usually carry thousands, if not tens of thousands of different items. Most generic suppliers are actually also the manufacturer of their own item. And that's why they usually have a smaller selection of items. It's only the items that they make or even if they're just carrying items for different brands or items from that they imported from other countries, typically they'll only carry a certain type of item and it will not be as big as a selection as the ones from the brand name. So should you work with name brand suppliers or should you work with generic suppliers? More importantly, which is better for you and your business? At first glance, it seems like working with name brand suppliers would be the better option. You get to go ahead and sell products that customers are already searching for. These companies spend billions of dollars on advertising and they do all of the marketing for you, meaning that you don't have to pay a penny, but yet customers are still searching for the items that you are selling. Not only are the customers searching for those items, but they are also familiar with the brand and potentially even with the item. Either they've bought them before or they've used it before, so they know what to expect and they're more likely to buy it. This is why I particularly love sourcing name brand products. It's a lot easier to sell them. It's a lot easier to go ahead and find customers and you can actually typically move them a lot quicker than generic products, but there are some cons to them as well. And that's what we're gonna go over right now. The biggest issue with selling name brand products is the exact reason why I like selling them. Since so many customers are looking to sell them, since so many customers know them, there are also a lot of sellers that know these products and there's a lot more competition when it comes to selling brand name items. For an example, take a look at this listing on Amazon for the Hungry Hungry Hippo. This is a popular board game made by Hasbro and this listing has 1,825 reviews with an average of a four star rating. So it's fair to assume that this item is selling pretty well. Another indicator showing how well this item is selling is the BSR, which stands for the best sellers rank. 
This shows how well an item is selling on Amazon, and the lower the number is, the better, with number one being the best. So this listing is in the top 100 listings for toys and games on all of Amazon out of millions of products. So it's very safe to assume that this item is selling well. The problem with this item and items like it that are name brand is that it's very competitive. There are over 70 sellers on this particular listing. So if you wanted to go ahead and source this listing and then sell it on Amazon, you are going to be competing with over 70 other people for the buy box and everyone's going to be lowering their price, trying to sell all of their units. And eventually whoever has the cheapest price and whoever can sell it for the cheapest is going to be the one getting the sales. This is one of the differences between selling generic products and selling name brand products. With name brand products, especially on Amazon, you are going to be facing a lot more competition. On eBay and other websites, it can be a little bit easier, but on Amazon specifically, name brand products are a lot harder in my opinion than generic products. With generic products, the listings typically have a lot fewer sellers and they are easier to go ahead and sell. So just from that perspective, there are going to be a lot more competition with name brand products, but at the same time, there's also more demand for those items. So all these products that are name brand, more customers are going to be searching for it. Versus generic products, you might not find an item from a generic supplier that is going to sell well as a name brand product, but there is going to be a lot less competition. A few other differences between sourcing from name brand suppliers versus sourcing from generic suppliers are the suppliers themselves. When you work with a name brand supplier, you're typically going to be working with a company that has a large selection. They are going to have connections to a lot bigger companies and they themselves are going to be a decently sized company, meaning that you're going to get your own sales rep, you're going to have a lot of resources and they are going to have a lot of experience knowing how to handle different situations and shipping items to Amazon. Some cons, as I said earlier, is that it's going to be highly competitive. There are going to be a lot of people that are sourcing those items. There's also going to be high order quantities. There's going to be different expectations and it's going to take a lot more upfront capital. Another thing about brand name suppliers are the items that they sell themselves. Typically, you would need to do a lot more product research upfront, searching through all of that inventory, finding the items that sell well. And then once you find one item that sells well, that is when you typically find a unit that is going to do very well. Now for generic suppliers, they typically have a smaller selection. Some people view that as a good thing. Some people view that as a bad thing. But in my experience, I found that I've been able to find a lot more items that sell well through the selection from a generic supplier, but the items don't sell as well as name brand products. So you might find a few items that you can go ahead and list and get a few sales, but none of those listings are all going to be the same as having one listing from a name brand product. Some other pros to working with generic suppliers are that the companies are actually smaller. Now this could be a con in the sense that they might not be the biggest company and they might not be able to do everything, but you are going to be able to build a closer relationship with that company. And even if you just move a little bit of product, you might become one of their top sellers, making sure that they will reach out to you, that they might be able to cater more to your needs, that they might be able to help you more than a bigger company would because you will not be even one of their top sellers. So those are some of the key differences and some of the things to know when looking for suppliers that either sell name brand products or looking for suppliers that sell generic products or they could be smaller companies. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This is just a constant question that I get asked. Now I'm trying to make more content. I am trying to release more videos. So hopefully within the near week, I can get out more videos. And if you wanna see a particular video, be sure to leave it in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.